Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the very awesome Connor main theme from Detroit Become Human soundtrack. Okay, give you a preview of what you can learn, it's very awesome, I really like it, it goes like this. Okay, so yeah, there are eight parts to this lesson, but don't worry because it's not as many parts as you think it is. There are patterns that you can learn that minimize your learning time required, okay? So yeah, don't worry because the first two parts is the same as each other, and then the third and fourth part is the same as each other, fifth and sixth parts are also the same as each other, and then yeah, seventh part is different, eighth part is different. So essentially, you only need to learn five parts, you could say so, okay? But anyway, Let's go ahead and start. Right hand starts on the C here. Middle C is here for reference. We start on the C below middle C. So it goes C, D, E flat, F, C, G. And that's the right hand for the first part. Remember this rhythm as well because it's always the same rhythm for the right hand. Just different notes every single part, okay? So one more time. So it goes C, D, E flat, F, C, G. Those are the six notes for this first part. Once you get that left hand, we have this very important pattern as well because Every single part has the same left hand, okay? So this is what we do. We play G down to C for um, five times. So it's one, two, three, four, five, like that, okay? So where this G, okay, middle C is here, go down an octave C, go down to the G, that's where we start. So remember, G, C for five times. One, two, three, four, five. Every single part is this left hand, um, same notes every single time so you have to remember okay so the two hands is very very simple this is what we group it in so it's like right hand and then the GC by itself and the right hand and then left hand GC by itself and then E flat and then right hand I mean left hand pattern by itself and then right left left and then CG is grouped uh, the last two notes is always grouped together on the right hand left hand comes in like that yeah so there's like a pattern so group it in like this for the right hand the first four notes are uh, every single time after you play the first four notes comes the GC on the left hand and then the last two notes on the right hand the fifth and sixth notes every single time every single part as well you've got to remember this uh, it's also after you play the two notes the GC comes in as well so it's like this check it out Sounds difficult when you hear it, but it's actually not as hard once I teach you this pattern like this, okay? So it's like right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, like that. Okay, when it's faster. Like that. And that's the first part. Simple stuff, right? It sounds difficult, but it's not hard at all, okay? So yeah, that's the first part. And then as I said before, the second part's exactly the same as the first part. So you repeat it. Okay, so so far the two parts we've learned will be played back to back like this. Like that, simple stuff. Okay, and then, awesome stuff, third part moving on, so the third part. Right hand is extremely, it's pretty much exactly the same as the first part, but the last two notes are different, okay? So pretty much every single time, it's just the right hand last two notes changes most of the time. So this time it goes C, D, E flat, F, and then instead of G, C, uh, I mean C, G this time, it goes E flat, D, like that. Okay, remember, so same thing, so C, D, E flat, F, E flat, D, like that. Okay, but the same pattern applies, and so it's like this. So it goes right, left, right. Remember, same thing, last two notes uh, is played on the right hand by itself and then the GC like that. So yeah, that's the third part, like this. And that's the third part. And as I said before, the fourth part coming is exactly the same as the third part. So you just repeat that. Like that, okay. So back to back, the four parts we've learned so far will be played like this. See, it's so easy with all these patterns. Okay, and then moving on, the um, 
uh, the fifth part, okay? Once again, exactly the same thing, but the only, once again, the last two notes on the right hand is different. This time, the last two notes would be G, B, like that. So it goes C, D, E flat, F, and then G, B, like that. Yeah. So this applies to the sixth part as well, because it's exactly the same. So once again, just goes like this. G, B. That's the fifth and the sixth part, okay? See, all these patterns, super simple once you learn it, okay? So the six parts we've learned so far, we play back to back like this, check it out. Like that, and then, Moving on, the seventh part is only by itself because seventh and eighth part both are different, okay? So the seventh part, uh, it's pretty much the same pattern as then. It goes C, D, E flat, F, but this time it goes E flat, B for the last two notes. So it's a tiny bit different, okay? So one more time, so C, D, E flat, F, E flat, B, like that, okay? So yeah, same pattern again. Like that, and that's the seventh part. So you can see these patterns are pretty easy once you follow it like that. So the seventh parts back to back would be played like this, check it out. Part, this part finally the right hand changes up a little bit. It starts on the middle C, it gets the higher. It goes C, B, B flat, A, F, G. Yeah, but it's the same amount of notes and same rhythmic pattern once again, okay? It just doesn't start in the lower C this time. So it goes high C, B, B flat, A, F, G, like that. But the exact same rhythmic pattern, once again, it's the first four notes alternates with the left hand, and then the last two notes play on the right hand, and then the last two notes on the left hand. Like this, check it out. That, that's the eighth part, one more time, like this. Like that, simple stuff, exact same rhythmic pattern, okay? So, see, it's not that difficult once you learn these patterns. Back to back, all parts, all eight parts will just be played like this, check it out. stuff right it's not as difficult once we learn these patterns hope you enjoyed this go ahead enjoy my other Detroit uh, Detroit becomes human yeah piano videos on my channel as well I did a few so check that out as well if you want to learn those themes enjoy your time around my channel checking out my other thousands and thousands and thousands of piano videos for you to enjoy and then also check out my website as well bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music play and sing and a lot of other cool stuff so check it out as well as for now that's pretty much it enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.